Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using various HTML tags to lay out the structure of your website. Now, we've looked at some of these basic HTML tags, things like body and this HTML tag. We also looked at things like the headers and paragraphs, all these very basic HTML tags. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about tags that we can use to format the content on our page. So these tags are going to help us to lay out the different content on our website into different sections. And really when we're writing HTML, you want to make sure that you're using the right tags to lay out your page. One of the most common mistakes that new developers to HTML make is that they don't use the correct tags and they don't use all of the HTML tags that they have available to them to lay out their pages. A lot of times people won't use the right tags or they won't lay out their pages as well as they could because maybe they don't know about certain HTML tags or they just don't feel like taking the time to use them. But in this tutorial, I want to show you all the tags that you should be using to lay out your web pages. So, the first thing I want to show you is how you can start laying out some of the code inside of your body. Now, most web pages are going to have three distinct sections. Normally, there's a header, and the header is like up at the top. And generally, the header is an element that's on every page of your website. So, this could be like a navigation menu. Maybe it has some branding information. So, it has like the name of the website and maybe a logo, and you'd have links to like other parts of your websites. I mean, you guys have seen a website before, you kind of know what a header of a website is supposed to look like. The next section is the main section. So this is like the meat and the bones of the website, right? This is where all the content is going to go. So maybe you ha would have like an article or you might have different sections of an article, some images, whatever. It's like the main section of the website. And the third section is the footer. And most websites are going to have a footer, right? If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's some additional navigational links. Again, maybe some branding information, um, maybe links to like some social media pages. Most websites though are going to implement that basic three section structure, the header, the main, and the footer. And HTML has tags that we can use to define all of those sections. So here inside my body, I'm going to start by defining the header and I can just make a header tag just like this and we'll make two of them. And so now any of the code that we'd want to put in the header of our website is going to go up in here. And now over here, I'm going to make a main. And so we have these other tags main and what you want to do is put all of the main content of your website inside of here. And finally, we can have the last one, which is the footer tag. So footer, and again, I'm just going to close this off, footer. So we have this basic three tag layout. We have the header, we have the main, and we have the footer. And these are all sibling elements. So they're all, they all have the same parent element, which is this body tag. And a good practice whenever you're using HTML is to separate the code for these specific areas. So you want to put all the code for the header of your website inside the header tags, for the main inside the main tags, and the footer inside the footer tags. Inside of these different tags, we can also define certain things. So imagine that inside of my header tag, I had a navigation menu, right? A lot of times in a header of a website, there'll be navigation links. So it'll be like, here's the homepage, then the about page, the contact us page, whatever. We would want to put any of those navigational elements inside of something called a nav tag. And this nav tag is used to store navigational elements. So if you had like, you know, a list of different links inside your website, then you could put them here inside of these nav tags. Now, obviously the point of this video isn't to show you like how to build a navigation tag or a navigation list. I just want to show you what you would need to use for a structure. So I'm showing you like how to structure this information. So any navigational items like maybe navigational lists or navigational links are going to go inside of nav tags. And that's a special tag inside of HTML. There's also some other tags that we could use inside of this main. So imagine that I had like a blog website and on my blog website, I had a bunch of blog posts. Well, one thing I could do would be to use what's called an article tag. So I can make an article tag and then inside of those article tags, I could write my blog post. So I could make a tag called article and down here, we're just going to close this. 
And so inside of these article tags, you could put all the text for your article and then the browser would know like, okay, there's gonna be an article inside of here. We can also use another tag, which is called a section. So generally, if you're writing a blog, you might have like different sections on your website. And so we can use the section tag to break up our article or really any part of your website into different sections. So once again, the section tags don't have to be used with the article tag, but they just happen to go together really well. And that's on purpose. So I could say section and we can close this off. And then any of the code for like the first section of your blog post could go in here. And maybe I'll have another section. And again, we can just close this off. So you can make as many of these section containers as you want and you can put all of the content for the section of your website. And usually whenever you have a different section, you'd want to include a header for the section. So you can include um, like an H1 or an H2 or an H3, whatever header that you'd want to have. Now, I also want to talk to you guys about using headers inside of your HTML documents. And this isn't something that is required to do, but Generally, if you're laying out an HTML page or an HTML article, you wanna be careful with how you're using your headers. So generally on a web page, you wanna have one header one, and that header one will be like the main title for the website. And then below that header one, you would have header twos, which would define the different sections of your website. So you might have this top header one, and then you'd have header twos, and then you'd have another header two down here. And then if you wanted another header inside one of those sections, you would use a header three. So a lot of times people will recommend using headers in like a hierarchy fashion. So you'd wanna have like a header one and then header two, header two, and then inside of here, like another header three. So you'd wanna, to find the headers of your website in this kind of like hierarchy fashion. And that's not required, like it's not gonna change the performance of your website if you don't do that, but that's sort of like a best practice that a lot of people, a lot of developers are gonna use when they're designing their websites. And since we're talking about laying out like the structure of the website, I think that's good information to take the heart. Another tag that we can use to help lay out our websites is called an aside tag. And then a side tag is basically a tag that you can use for any content that's not directly related to like the main content on the page. And a good example of a scenario where you'd wanna use an aside tag might be like an advertisement. So a lot of websites will have advertisements, like you might be using Google AdSense or, you know, whatever, like if you have an advertisement on your website, you could use an aside tag to define that. And the aside tag, basically would just mean like this content is on the page and it's getting shown to the users, but it's not directly related to like the core content of our website. So those are just a bunch of different tags that you can use to help lay out your website. And I would definitely consider using the tags when you're building the basic structure of your website. One thing that a lot of people end up doing is they'll just sort of use like general container tags to lay out their website. So they won't use the specific HTML tags that HTML has defined for them to lay out their website. And one of the advantages of using these tags of, you know, specifying like this is a section of my website and this is another section of my website. Cause you might say like, why do I have to define all of those sections? And honestly, like using tags like this isn't necessarily gonna change the look and the feel of your website. Like you could create a header, a main and a footer for your website without using the header, the main or the footer tags. The purpose of those tags is one, to act for organization. So if you're writing an HTML file, one of your goals should be to make the file as readable as possible. So when you write the file, you want it to be able to be read by uh, either yourself later on or other developers. And when you use these HTML tags, these structure tags, it makes it a lot easier to tell what's going on, right? So I can look at your HTML and I can tell like, oh, okay, here's the header. Oh, here's the main. So this is where like, all of the core content is, okay, here's the article and I need to go to the second section, here's the second section. It just makes it easier to read the file and it just makes the organization more organized. And again, these tags, these structural tags aren't necessarily gonna change the look or the feel of the website, but they're extremely useful. Another reason they're useful is for search engine optimization. 
And search engine optimization is basically just how your website is viewed by search engines. So a lot of, well, there's actually more to it than that, but that's sort of like the basic idea is like, if your site has good search engine optimization, then it'll be really easy for search engines like Google to be able to go read through your site and figure out what it's about. And when you use these very specific HTML tags, it makes it a lot easier for something like Google to go into your website and figure out the structure of your website and figure out where all of the content of your website is. When you use these HTML tags, something like Google could easily go into your file and figure out like where the article is and it can figure out the different sections of your website and it can figure out like how your website is laid out and then it can use that information to display your website better. A lot of people underestimate the power of these HTML tags and so I wanna kind of instill in you guys who are watching this video the power that these tags can have. You definitely wanna use things like this to lay out your websites don't listen to people who tell you that they're not important because they definitely are important. That's the reason that they're included in HTML. HTML is a no nonsense language. There's not a whole lot of fluff in there. So when HTML defines something, you know that it's important. Anyway, I would always recommend laying out your files, something like this, using these different tags. If you don't want to, you don't want to, but I think it takes a little extra time, but it can really increase the readability and also the parsability of your file by like search engines. So Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.